Hey everyone, this is Danya. Welcome to Dates with Danya. <clears throat> oh, this is my voice. This is my first video. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. So, Dates with Danya is all about going on dates with me. Um, it's mostly actually going to be solo dates because I am 34 years old and I am single as a Pringle living in New York City. And as I'm sure you guys are dealing with or no, as you get older, your friendship circle gets smaller and smaller. And even the people that are within your friendship circle, they're getting married, they're having children, they're just dealing with a lot and they're usually a little bit more busy than me and our lives are just very different. So with that being said, <laughs> obviously it's harder and harder for me to find people to do things with. And why should I not be able to do things just because I can't find someone to go with? So therefore, I thought, okay, I have to do some stuff by myself, and that's okay, and sometimes it's scary, <laughs> and so basically, my channel is going to be about me going on majority, I would say, solo dates. Occasionally, I'm sure I'll find people to go with, but I also want this to be about women empowerment, self-love, and um, just, yeah, being okay with being your own best friend, not having to wait for somebody else to be your best friend. So my first video, I'm going to be going to Bannerman's Castle. It is 50 miles north of New York City, located in Beacon, New York, and it's an abandoned castle, and I don't know that much more about it. Hopefully, I'll learn um, on this tour. I am freaking out because usually when I go on tours, I go with my mom or I go with friends or I don't know. I just go with people for the most part. So this will be, I think, my first time or at least my first time in a long time going by myself on a tour. So I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know. You just see other people in there with their families or their significant others and then there you are all by yourself. <laughs> but it'll be fine, I'm sure. But... Yeah, I'm nervous. So I'm doing this for you and I'm doing this for me as well, of course. Without further ado, we're going to Bannerman's Castle and I'll let you know how it goes. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm freaking out, but let's go. Come on with me. See you there. So I just got to the waterfront of Beacon and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Literally, I'm freaking out right now because I'm just nervous to do this by myself. I'm not used to doing things by myself and I just have no idea how this is going to go. But at least I look cute, I think. <laughs> um... And it's a nice day outside. So anyway, I literally am crapping myself because I'm so nervous about going on this tour, going by myself. And I think a lot of people can relate. You know, when you go with someone, you have that shared experience with them. And um, this will be sharing experience with strangers. But it'll still, I think it'll be fun. I'm just nervous because I've never done it. I really don't know what this is going to entail. But anyway... Wish me luck, I'm literally in the parking lot to go on this tour. And hopefully it's fun, so let's go.
honestly really, really enjoyed myself. I was super nervous, but it was a lot of fun. So I'm really, really happy that I went. So let's rate Bannerman's Castle. There are four categories that I'm going to be using to rate all of my single experiences or all my dates, because this is Dates with Danya. The first category is joy. Just how much joy did this experience bring me? Um, out of five stars, I would give this one four stars. I really, really enjoyed myself. The boat ride over was 22 minutes and it felt like it was five minutes. The breeze, it was just so relaxing. Then when I was there, there was a little bit of hiking, a little bit of education, learning about the history of Bannerman's Island. You could go through their house. It was really cool. So honestly, definitely four stars. Really, really fun. I had a, a really good time. Price, I would say, is probably like three, three uh, dollar signs because it was $40. Now, $40 doesn't sound like a lot of money, but if you were going to do this once or twice a week, that's definitely going to add up over a month. So it's definitely a little pricier than, I wouldn't say it's pricier than what I want, but it's definitely pricey and I probably won't spend $40 every single time that I do these different experiences. So that's fine. Then the third category is single ability. So as I said, I think I said in my first video, single ability is just, is this something that is enjoyable to do by yourself? Is this something I'd recommend other people to do by themselves? And this, I would say out of five stars, I would give it a four stars. I really, the only time I really noticed that I was by myself was waiting for the boat to arrive. So everyone's just waiting on the dock and there was a group of 10 people. There was a family. There was two girlfriends together. I think there was a couple together. So when I'm sitting there waiting for 20 minutes and everybody else has someone to talk to and I'm just sitting there waiting, that was not the most enjoyable moment. But other than that, there was someone else on the boat that was single. We didn't end up chatting, but it was nice to see other people do these things by themselves as well. I didn't feel any type of way on the tour being by myself, walking around the island by myself. It was really, really enjoyable. So definitely four out of five for single ability. Last category is just overall experience. So for the overall experience, I would give this, I was going to give it a 3.5, but now I'm just like, I think I'm going to give it, you know, I'm going to give it 3.5. It was fun. I would definitely recommend other people to go. Um, I really enjoyed myself. It did, it was, I think, two and a half hours. It went by super quick. Uh, yeah, I would give it 3.5 because there's things I've done that were way more fun. And there's definitely things I've done that aren't that great. So definitely 3.5 for sure. It was a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend people to go do it. So um, if you're in the Mid-Hudson Valley, definitely check out Bannerman's Island. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If there's anything that you want me to do, please leave a comment and hopefully I can do it. Um, if there, yeah, just tell me what you liked or didn't like about this video. Let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you again soon. Bye, everyone. And also, oopsies, <laughs> be kind. I definitely want to have that message in my videos. Just please be kind. Be kind to me. Be kind to others. And me saying please be kind does not mean that I don't have my moments and that I don't say unkind things occasionally, but I think me saying it out to the universe and to the <laughs> whatever higher power you believe in uh, just will hopefully spread more kindness and help me to be kinder as well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you again soon. Bye.